The black is a better athlete to begin with because he's been bred to be that way. Because of his high thighs and big thighs, it goes up into his back. And they can jump higher and run faster because of their bigger thighs. This goes back all the way to the Civil War. When during the slave trading, the big the owner, the slave owner, would 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 breed his big black to his big woman so that he could have a, a, big, a, big, a big black kid. You're fired! <laughs> cool. We finally found the clip. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio. It's a virus. You got to know that by now. The ONA virus. Yes. Yeah, slowly but surely spreading across America and now spreading across Canada. You got to love that. Well, that was great to hear the uh, Jimmy the Greek clip again. I we've heard that in years. We've been uh, looking for this Jimmy the uh, Jimmy the Greek clip for uh, yeah a few years now. Yeah. What was it? He was at some kind of function and he had a it few was drinks. Just, uh, yeah, it wasn't he was just sitting down at a table dinner. A dinner, yeah, having a few drinks, camera in his face, microphone, and I don't even, I don't know how that conversation got rolling. I guess they were talking about uh, probably some sports figure, and uh, he fell into that. Little train of thought. <laughs> Absolutely the truth, though. Never, well, never understood why he got fired behind my, his head. Yeah, it's it, there are some truths that are unspoken. You just can't say it. <laughs> it was just the truth. It was just like you know they bred big black niggas with big black nigglets to make big black babies. They that's didn't want it. some skinny weakling. That's what guy. They, that's what they did. And then is, is that why black is a better athlete? Maybe white people was upset that they said black was a better athlete. Were better athletes. Yeah, maybe that was it. Pissed because, the white man off. Because the reason they are is exactly what that was. And just what Jimmy the Greek said. But back in the day, I don't think you could say that stuff. Can't he, say it now. I think he would have got away with it today. No nah, way. Absolutely not. He would have got uh, fucking not only fired. He would have got kept being getting rehired so that they could keep firing. Him. <laughs> well, that's uh, well, that's that's what I mean. That would be the difference. You're right. <laughs> he would do his time and then he'd be back on TV. <laughs> Just crucified. <laughs> but, oh, it would uh, be much worse. That was back d during fucking All in the Family when he said that shit. <laughs> that, that was back in the Howard Cosell days. <laughs> Look at Cosell. that little monkey scamper. <laughs> I call a lot of people little monkeys. <laughs> that was his excuse. Look at that. <laughs> Can we find that clip too, the Howard Cosell clip? That's a great one. And I, don't, I can't, I'm not sure that was racist. Like, sometimes no. I, I really want to say everything white people do is racist just to say it. Right. But, you know, this con context is, uh, people who don't understand context, I, I tend to believe women just don't understand context. Yeah. It's just the word is the word and like, oh. Doesn't matter where it oh, is or right. what it's being used for. Just, right. Just, but, they, I, they, Look at that little monk. It just was something that popped in his dummy. I'm sure yeah. he's latent racist, but he's a, he was an old Jew. How racist could he be? <laughs> but I'm sure he did. He was probably pissed because it's like, my God, I wasn't trying to be racist. <laughs> if I was trying, you'd have known it. <laughs> you know? Look at that little cooner run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it pisses you off when you get accused of doing something that you didn't, that you do. You've done it before. You do it. You get accused of it when you weren't doing it. It's like, wait a minute. No, no. Let me give you an example of when I did do that. <laughs> he's running like he thinks he's free from slavery. <laughs> Look at him running. Look at that ashy Negro run his little black cheeks off. He's running like the chains just came off him. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> right, so you just want to be... I don't think that Jimmy is that stupid. He wanted to have a job. No. He was just trying to be candid and a little... It's like, hey, it is what yeah. it is. This is why. I think it's just the whole equating the black man to an animal type thing. Because if you had the same conversation about thoroughbred racehorses, if, if you got this little weakling thoroughbred horse that came out, yeah. you're not going to use it to breed with another thoroughbred to make the strongest racehorse uh, you can. And uh, with, with the Civil War, the guy's talking about Civil War days, not fucking what's going on, you know, at the time he said this. And he said that uh, the plantation owners wanted they strong did. workers. So why would they breed, uh, when they had power to do this, some weak black guy with uh, a black what woman? Did. It's what just they what did. they did. It's just what they did. You can't say it. You can't say it. This <laughs> this, is, did they really just pick two big mothers out and said, go fuck? Well, it's a whole plan. If you one day, while, you, while you're um, you know, taking breaks off of being racist, just look at the, uh, what they call the, uh, <laughs> the Willie Lynch papers. 
Willie Lynch. The Willie Lynch theory. It's a. It's it's supposedly quote unquote urban legend, but it's not urban legend. It's the, it was the plan on how to design slavery because to how to keep black people enslaving themselves is the plan. It's oh really? Yeah, and it, and it's based on how horse breeding. Really? It's based on it's horse strange breeding. Strange, I brought that up. <laughs> It is. All right, listen. That is strange. I've never heard of that, yet I use the horse analogy. <laughs> Obi's like, that up. Oh, look at, Obi's just like Jimmy the Greek. Like, no, no, right, no, no, no. Listen, everybody. Not at all. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this to the next level. Oh, you're going to uh, bring the people in. I'm bringing yeah. the, the I'm trucker in Nebraska. <laughs> Fuck the no. The fucking nigga. It wasn't based on horses. Stupid. Let it's based see. on you gotta have ducks faith in and me. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have faith in, my, in me sometimes, Patrice. <laughs> all right, Obi. Watch what I do right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We got Howard Cassell's son. Uh, nephew, uh... How, somebody relates to Howard Cassell. Wait, I always forget. Grandson. 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 That's right. We have Howard Cassell's grandson. He calls the show every once in a while. It, really? For yep. real. I Colin. swear to God, this is Colin Cassell. <laughs> What's up? Colin, you know we have the utmost respect for uh, your grandfather. It's funny. The one morning I just happened to be listening, there I am all excited for the show to start, and you start off with bashing my grandfather as a racist. <laughs> no, we no, didn't no. You, we, we actually said he was yeah, that, that was taken out of, out context. of context. We was giving it to him. Can you imagine, though? Hold on, Colin. <laughs> what a coincidence is this? Just out of nowhere, we finally find the Jimmy the Greek clip. We decided to play it at the start of the show, and, and Howard, then go into the Howard Cosell thing, and, and Howard's uh, grandson is listening. Colin's listening. Well, Colin, first of all, you got to start with your impression. Listen to, to his impression of his uh, grandfather. Never has there been a bigger abomination than calling my grandfather, the late Howard Cosell, a racist. <laughs> Pretty goddamn good, man. Um, <laughs> now, i I got to tell you this story real quick, though. The, the guy that he was referring to as a little monkey, and yes, he did call all his grandchildren little monkeys when we were running around. Um, but uh, the guy's name was Alvin Garrett. And after the game, uh, someone was interviewing him and uh, said, you know, what, what do you think of these comments that Howard said about you? He said, I'm just glad Howard Cosell knows my name. Yeah, because yeah, it was same. it was taken out of context. Yeah, I just refuse. I I I love accusing people of being racist, but it's just it it just wasn't. It have was you a ever thing. have you ever seen a little monkey run? Look they are quick that motherfuckers. Monkey so, scamper. If you want to talk about someone running fast, regardless of their color, yeah, but they're using a little four monkey legs. is a good. <laughs> they're using four legs, though. They're not. The barometer would be if he was still alive today and saw King Kong, and he goes, "Look at Lawrence Taylor climb that building." <laughs> LT's really making some headway. He's already up to the forty-fifth floor. A challenger. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, once known as the great Cassius Clay, working his way up to floor 52. <laughs> White woman in hand, this should outrage the American public. the by wing plane. Oh my God. This is Ali with a right hook to a wing. The plane is down. The plane is down. Oh, look at that little Ali scamper. <laughs> the casting crew of To Kill a Mockingbird still outraged by the blonde woman in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, was, he was completely vindicated for that, you know. Well, I mean, you know, he had, uh, after all those years of supporting uh, Jackie Robinson and Muhammad Ali, and then you have yeah. one little slip up one night, and everyone's like, he's a racist! And yeah. You know, that's, but that's the media for him. So, uh, for you, so fuck him. That's what I say. Yeah. Down with the media. Oh, Colin. Very good. <laughs> Great job. Thanks for letting me go, uh, get on and defend my grandfather. No problem. Any time there, Colin. Where's the wig again? Uh, we still don't know. Someone has the wig. I, you mention this every time thing. I call, and I still don't know. I've checked eBay. I have no idea. If We're trying to find the wig. Turns up on eBay. Imagine what Howard Cosell's wig would go for. Uh, oh, 50,000. 60,000, probably. Probably. At least. Yeah. Yeah, uh, probably yeah, less than his jacket. I'm sure, like his ABC Monday Night Football I've got, jacket. I've got his entire wardrobe in my uh, in my closet, actually. Really? Yep. Wow, you got the uh, uh, ABC Sports jacket? I do. Holy All shit! Right, bring it in. That's a biggie. I actually, well, I was going to come in. I was uh, waiting till uh, Jimmy was back because I, you know, sort of know him because we did a little bit of comedy together. But I was going to bring in some of my grandfather's uh, original ties for each of you. All Dude, right. what is is the jacket in good condition? Like, or yeah, is absolutely. it? Absolutely. Would would you be able to bring that in? Because I would love to put it on and take a photo in it. I, 
I could if uh, if I'm allowed to shake your hand. Yeah, Anthony, you can absolutely shake my hand. Anthony is strange that way. He's got a picture of him in the uh, Johnny Bravo jacket. As the well. Johnny Bravo uh, jacket from uh, the Brady Bunch. That's right. It was a thrill for me. And Howard Cosell's jacket would be uh, fantastic. Excellent. Well, I'll, I'll do what I can. Colin, come in next week. Jimmy's back next week. I will do that. All right, just come in any day. You don't even have to set up an appointment. Yeah, right? just show up. That'll make my friend Frank Nostro very happy. He's like, when are you going to finally go in there? I said, I don't know. I'm waiting for Jimmy. So next week I'll do it. All right, leave us with some Howard. All right. Gentlemen, I wish you the greatest show that you could possibly have. Bring them the funny and take down that big bird-looking son of a bitch, Howard Stern. All right. Thank you, Colin. All right, gentlemen. Colin, Colin Cassell, everyone. <laughs> we have another great. Jimmy the Greek uh, clip here. They take over coaching like everybody wants them to. There's not going to be anything left for the white people. I mean, all the players are black. I mean, the only thing that the whites control is the coaching jobs. Now, I'm not being derogatory about it, but that's all that's left for them. Oh, what a, what a poor, just a poor, honest old idiot. That's what he is. Just a dopey ass, just honest, honest motherfucker sitting idiot, there. Man. Like, yeah, hey, you gotta leave the Jesus, coaching for the some of the white guys. What the fuck are we guys. gonna do if all the niggas are goddamn coaching now, oh. too? Look at that little monkey calling the plays. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little monkey negotiating. <laughs> Holy shit, he negotiated a contract. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Uh, that poor, honest old bastard, man. And he was on everything back uh, back in the day, like all those variety shows, uh, Bob Hope. You know, it, he would turn up constantly. Whenever there was a, a Kentucky Derby, uh, That they, they would always, he was the first guy they would go to. Jimmy the Greek, your picks for this or that? Well, I don't know. I'm looking at this horse, and uh, if it was a colored guy, I'd have to lay my money on it. <laughs> The guy just didn't know when to cut it off and just shut the fuck up. Let's go to Neil in Wisconsin. Neil, what's up? Hey, guys. Uh, Max McGee, the uh, announcer for the Packers about, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, Herschel Walker was carrying the ball, and uh, he was running down the sidelines. He says he looks like he just stole a watermelon headed south. He got into <laughs> trouble for that one. Oh, my God. If you guys have this stuff, you got to send it into the show. Oh, my yeah, God. I, mean, I had it, but... Uh, Take it easy, guys. Uh, thank Mistaken you, racist comments. Yeah. <clears throat> and you just don't... I, I, that's why I don't want to give white people credit enough for being that knowledgeable about how to be racist like that. He doesn't want to lose his job. No. Right? So it's just... it's just He's a country boy. He's kind of goofy. Yeah. And that, he's describing what it is. And it's like, no, 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 no. You can't say... Boy, you can't say yeah. monkey. You can't say watermelon. And you 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 want to just turn around and say fucking racist, but you give it a little too much thought, and you're like, <clears throat> guys, just stupid. He's just stupid. And, really and not they a racist. Have personalities. Just stupid. Yeah. Like Cosell's whole personality just doesn't lend itself to to being a racist. It just right. lends itself to being like if you had a guy who was announcing, he just goes. Oh, boy. Look at this fucking nigga run. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, boy. Could be a problem. Look at, look at, look at this fucking hole in the water. Holding the ball like it's a goddamn watermelon. Well, man, yeah, another touchdown by a nigga. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah. yeah. Surprise, surprise. Another <laughs> nigga scored a touchdown. <laughs> if, if it was like that, right. it'd be different. But it's like, look at this little holy magolis. <laughs> you know, like an oh. Italian player. He goes, holy cannoli. Oh, holy cannoli. Why? I gotta be a Damn. cannoli up in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Steve in New York. Steve, what do you have? What about Wolf Blitzer on CNN with the uh, Katrina thing? They're so poor and so black. They are so poor. <laughs> they are so black. <laughs> when he said that. Yeah, we got the Wolf Blitzer, too. Oh, where's the Wolf Blitzer? Huh? He didn't get in trouble for that? He didn't get in trouble. Nothing. No, because they were so poor and, and so, so black. black. <laughs> I mean, there really ain't. Yeah, we got. We got all this. We got a lot of this stuff. We got to start playing it now. Oh my God! Eric's trying to find that for us. Yeah, Wolf Blitzer uh, during uh, Katrina. Oh. He's talking with one of the reporters, and of course he's back in uh, uh, CNN Central there, the Situation Room. He's got all those cameras, uh, all those uh, video screens behind him, and uh, he's trying to be a little profound, <laughs> I guess. 
And he goes, and these people, you watch the heartbreaking video of them being evacuated from the rooftops and, and uh, not f no food or water, and they are so poor. And they are so black. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If, if, he didn't, if, he didn't, if he didn't see him trying to muster up that, that emotion, like yeah. if he just goes on and just struggling and just, ah, uh, what difference does it make? Yeah, who, who cares? <laughs> when you look at it, all you see are a sea of black faces. Uh, wet niggas. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, we have another one. Turtlehead. Hey, good morning, fellas. Good morning. Hey, don't forget, uh, I don't know if Patrice ever heard it. Um, Martin Luther Coon Day. Oh, yeah, what? That was the weather guy. Yeah, do we have that one? He too? got fired, oh, man. Oh, my God. He got <laughs> fired before they went to sports right after the weather. That I is mean, Freudian up right the ass yeah, hole. Because he was saying, he was saying uh, Martin Luther King Day, and he said, Martin, like he slipped up before he even got <laughs> to King. So King came out like Coon, and... And it didn't even all the way come out. It was like Martin Luther Co King, like, oh, oh no, oh, no. Was he was going to say cold front or I don't know. He got he all, was thinking, oh, he got yeah, all messed it up. It seemed like it, but I, it, Freudian, yeah. It didn't uh, seem like he... With his buddies, he could say that all the time, and then it, it came out when he... Yeah. Here's what I decree. Here's the decree we make right now. Mm -hmm. Before, when any white guy does something like that, you, 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 the black community gets to vote on whether he gets fired or not. Yeah, but that's an instant fired. I, it's not because if the black community gets to vote. You know what? Who black people didn't give a shit about was oh. Rush Limbaugh, saying that. Uh, uh, remember, we were talking about uh, uh, what's the quarterback for Philly? Um, oh right, uh, yeah, McNabb. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah, goes, he goes, they want to. You know, he's a he's a black quarterback. Um, he black stinks. Quarterback. He, he goes, he sucks. But they're pumping him up because you need a black quarterback to be good. He got some heat for that. Though. He got he got fired. For that, for from be for ESPN, he got fired. Oh, from ESPN, yeah. But I'm not positively sure that he's not that it was Russ Limbaugh himself is is a, is you know what he is. But it's like I don't know if that's a racist comment to go. Uh, you know, I don't. I'm not sure if the NFL doesn't need black quarterbacks. They yeah. they might need them because it was a stigma all that time. So it's like I'm not sure Russ should be. F I'm not sure. In that situation, though, unless you have the piece of paper from the NFL higher-ups that said, we really need a lot more black quarterbacks. So you could show it and go, see, I was just saying that. If you're speculating like he was like that, yeah, then it can be that's dangerous construed territory. as being racism, and, and uh, out you go. We got the Wolf Blitzer clip. Ah, here's Wolf. As much as you see that picture, though, you, you, you simply get chills every time you see these poor individuals. Mm -hmm. As Jack uh, Cafferty just pointed out, uh, so tragically, so many of these people, almost all of them that we see, are so poor and they are so black, and this is going to raise <laughs> lots of questions for people who are watching this story unfold. We'll take a quick break. More of our special coverage. Right uh, yeah, we'll take a quick break. All I, right. I absolutely know where he was going with that. He just fucked up. Uh, he, I really think he meant to say... They're so poor, and so many of them are black. Right. Like, that's what he meant. It's not like they're so black. Like, look at that motherfucker. Oh. You can't see him. It's fucking dusk, and already I can't see the motherfucker, you know? Uh, how many Homer Simpson dopes did you think you could yeah. all throughout the, the producers and all the... Yeah, the so dope. poor and so black. So black. So oh, holy oh. shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Well, go to commercials. <laughs> we'll be right back after this uh, well, what break. What do you say about the rednecks like in the tornado? It's like there's no... That, see, that's the thing that's, that keeps us from, apart is that you give white people so much credit for being able to like affect your life with their little statements. But it's like, you know, oh, look at the poor white people in tornado. Oh, look at them. They're, they're just so... They shouldn't be in this position because they're white. Because they're white. It should be black folks blowing away. Oh, God. I don't like... You, you know, you, you, when you see large groups of white people carrying babies and food over their back and stuff, you're like, why are they in that position? <laughs> why the fuck? Why oh. But then, Katrina, you see just, like, huge uh, groups of black people walking around with babies and uh, uh, groceries and everything, whatever they can carry, and you're like, oh, well, 
you know, to pour down there. They should have known to fucking leave, and the oh, water came it, in. It, it just... That's why they're trapped on the rooftop. They don't fucking listen to the goddamn news. <laughs> <laughs> know what the fuck? They listen to their hip hop music. They ain't got no. <laughs> you know, maybe if they turn the hip hop off every once in a while and put on a fucking news station, they'd have known this shit was coming. Turn but... all BET. <laughs> put on a little CNN. I'm sure. B yeah, BET didn't have the fucking map with the hurricane going. It's coming your way, motherfucker. The... <laughs> they thought it was a new video. Katrina <laughs> hits. Oh, shit. Katrina hitting. <laughs> Katrina dropping. Where's Katrina dropping? <laughs> Is she open up for Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's go to Georgia. Eric, what's up? Hey, you guys, uh, the, the the sports stuff is hilarious, but uh, about two years ago, this running back from, I think it was either Virginia or Virginia Tech, he made some, like, ridiculous 95-yard run or something, and after the game, the uh, sports, one of the sports reporters was asking him, you know, what was he thinking about uh, when he was doing the run, and he was like, to be honest with you, I just pretended I was being chased by the cops. And, <laughs> That's and, funny. And he was a black kid, and it was just like, the reporter sat there, like, he, uh, 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 oh, wow. There's nothing better than watching the reporters in a, an uncomfortable situation like that. Because I've seen anchor people where somebody, maybe the sports guy, because it's always the sports guy or the weather guy, just say something fucking stupid. Like the anchors usually have it together enough to know that their career, like they can fuck it up by, by saying something stupid. Sports and weather guys... They want to get their little moment in there, so sometimes they really fuck up and say something not even overtly racist, but just enough to make the anchors so uncomfortable that they won't even comment on it or acknowledge he said it or anything. So later on in the management meeting, they could go, well, look at the tape. I, I didn't even hear it. I'm just shuffling my paper. Uh -huh. We'll be back with our top stories after we get this idiot away from my desk. <laughs> I love it. All right, we can't find Martin uh, Luther Kuhn. Oh. What about uh, Joe, uh, line one, from Denver? I remember this one. All right, let's go to Denver. Joe? Hey, what about when Tiger Woods won the, uh, his first? Oh, yeah. 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 Fuzzy when Zeller. You it, you, yeah, you get to pick the menu for the next year, and Fuzzy says, well, I guess next year we're having fried chicken and watermelon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. But see, black people, don't, this is this is a war between white people. Black people really think some of that shit is hilarious. It's just that we got to we got to keep you motherfuckers in check when you just say goofy shit like that. Right. But it's hilarious. We would say that to each other. Yeah. Right, say, right, right. We trash Tiger Woods. Black people trash Tiger Woods ever since he goes, I'm Caucasian, and it's just like, motherfucker, you a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you gooky nigga, you ain't no cobbler fucking Asian motherfucker. Cobbler Asian. How is that? Cobbler. I'm Cublasian, I'm half the... Shut the fuck, fuck up. up. Goddamn, Porsche Bucket, you are <laughs> a nigga. And that's how you're going to get treated. Didn't Fuzzy Wuzzy let you know yeah. that? Fuzzy let you know that. And Fuzzy's defense was, no, nah, we say this shit all the to time. All the time, and they do. In the do. locker room. They do. You know they fuck the with time. that half a black Porsche. Asian mo. You know they mess with Tiger's hey, head like that. And you know something? He gets them back tenfold by kicking their by fucking winning. asses out there on the court. If you guys got some of these That's clips, it. send them into the show, because we don't have all of them, unfortunately. Yeah, we got to scrape these we up. We did find uh, tax cunts, by the way. Oh, we did? Yeah. I mean, I, it's sort of in the same category, but yeah, we yeah, had, yeah, yeah. News someone people uh, fucking up. Miss, uh, miss speaking. Miss, here's, that uh, was uh, Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw. This doing is... some kind of uh, special. He was standing on a runway right next to an airplane or some this shit. This is one of our favorites and, of all uh, time. He was meant to say the uh, presidential uh, tax cuts. And he's got such a bad speech impediment. This guy, uh, obviously, everyone knows he, he just retired recently, but had a long, illustrious career as an anchorman for NBC Nightly News. Could not speak. He had one of those lisps where you can't say your L words. It comes out like oh, just this compression between the back of the tongue and the top of your mouth. So you sit there. NBC Nightly News, I'm Tom Brokaw's today's top story, Leon Klinghoffer pushed off the deck of the Achilles. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say it. I saw that clip years ago of him saying that and was like, this motherfucker can't talk. He's the top dog at the news organization. And he can't, can't say, say an L. <laughs> right. And here he is uh, screwing up uh, tax cuts. Listen to the little uh, gap. Right after he said it, when he knew he fucked up, but if the gap was any longer, he knew people would know he fucked up, so he trudges on like a pro. 
The key component, and what the president insists, is the job stimulus program. Ohio, a strong Republican state, is hurting economically. And as NBC David Gregory reports tonight, the president took his message right to a powerful Ohio Republican who is not convinced the tax cuts are the answer. <laughs> uh, tax cuts. <laughs> that law space sounded like 20 years, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Tax cuts. And to watch the video... It's a flash that comes over his face. Doesn't last more than a quarter of a second, but you see it. He panics. His eyes get a little wider, that delay, and then goes right back into it. And he probed his way through it. Like, oh, because oh, it was man. live, you know? It was fucking live, man. I think the best way to do it is to, is, is to just pretend you did not know. If you say, like, so poor, so black, you just... But that, but see, Wolf that, did a good job. That's what Wolf Blitzer get. That's that that thing where emotions for an emotionalist kind of person yeah. comes in, and he's feeling emotional, and right. he fucks up his entire rhythm because usually he's just disconnected. So poor, and so many people are black, and it's you know I don't. This is just a tragedy, right? Yeah. But it's just so poor, so black. So black. <laughs> oh, I so fucked that lineup. Oh, yeah. So wet and so crispy. <laughs> so so nappy headed. <laughs> like, just fucking. No one. Nothing beats the kayaks, though. With Celine Dion. Oh, Celine. Just losing her mind. When Did you hear Celine. the kayak one? No. Oh, this fuck, is. You got shit to play for you. When, when the victims of Katrina are on TV, and it was 24 hours a day, I mean, everyone watched it, and, and all the celebrities had to get involved. Sean Penn down in the boat with his shotgun and helping people uh, get out. And, and Celine Dion on Larry King starts talking, gets very emotional about uh, this whole thing, and just <laughs> babbles like an idiot, like the idiot she is. She is mentally retarded with a Vegas show. That's what it is. A retard with a Vegas show. Yeah, before the kayak one, listen to this. You know, some people are stealing and they're making a big deal out of it. Oh, they're stealing 20 pair of jeans or they're stealing television sets. Who cares? They're not going to go too far with it. Maybe those people are so poor. Some of the people who do that, they're so poor. They've never touched anything in their lives. Let them touch those things for once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Only a fucking mongoloid <laughs> retard would even have a thought process like that. That they're not stealing. Oh, you can touch this plasma TV, but you yeah. can't have it. <laughs> that's because yeah. she doesn't have a, a history of having an emotion. So right. The, the emotional thing to say is, man, who gives a fuck about those televisions? Yeah. And just, who cares? And who cares? Ended, but, and she, but she's trying to be so profound in her new emotion they that she's discovered. Need to touch it. <laughs> this to, this no. little... No, look, Celine, let me clue you in. They don't just want to touch it. They want to take it as many as they can, keep them bone fucking dry, so when this shit clears up, they can sell it and make a lot of fucking money. It has nothing to do. There isn't a tear in the gentleman's eye as he's like, never thought I'd touch this. Look at this pan... But Panasonic. <laughs> Panasonic. Yeah. Not only am I going to touch it, I'm going to oh. take 20 pairs for myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Cleon, there's no electricity. Yeah. I just want to touch it, man. I just want to touch the fucking thing. I just want to touch it. You, you know can, something? You touch it. Uh, that's, I never... That's a, that's her emotion. She's there's no Anthony has she has she just discovered right something she just didn't know she and she wanted she couldn't control. Right. It's like a science fiction movie where an emotionless robot finally gets the chip that gives him emotion. That's what she was like. She didn't know how to handle it. What did what is this thing leaking from my what? eye? What? It's a tear. Yeah. Oh uh, my God, what? tear. <laughs> Feelings. I am disturbed by these feelings. I cannot deal with this, but I feel a pain that is not truly a pain in my midsection. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my feelings of love. Just let them touch it. Just let them touch it. I'm sure that's all they want. Uh. <laughs> Why, I'm crying. 
<laughs> That's what she is. You're it right. Was, it was she self, just got hit with it. It was emotion. self-importance. Yeah. It was. It had nothing to do with Katrina. It was just no. her jerking herself off because she was feeling that way at right. the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you the one true emotion out of the whole thing and is that goddamn Kanye West is just... It's, oh right, right. And, but but God see, damn. Michael Myers in that clip. I don't know if you ever saw that thing. Oh, and I know yeah. you guys had to talk about it many times. Hell yeah. But it's just like you can just that is the pain of being phony in Hollywood. It's just you can't deal with that. I, if Michael Myers called himself a comic when when fucking Kanye said and George Bush don't care about black people, I'd have started roll. Yeah. I'd have laughed so hard at him trying to collect this emotion and, and yeah. saying that crazy shit and then watching Mike Myers try to disconnect. It's like, motherfucker, you, you're yeah. a comic, too. Just, just start yeah. laughing. Just Go start with it. laughing just at that look at him. Imagine if he turned to him and looked at him, like it, put his eyebrows up and just went, <laughs> 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 Did you just say <laughs> It's, it's these, uh. these people are struggling to, to be be honest, man. That's yeah. the fucked up thing about this business. That's what's good about the radio is like you could just yap about some shit, be honest, and it's just it doesn't hurt. You know, you right. say some shit, you might say a little tsunami shit wrong right. here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> what just you gonna do? <laughs> but you could be honest. But there is no honesty left. The honesty, whatever little piece of honesty anyone really wants to come out with in Hollywood in that whole circle, has to be covered up in this armor. You know that that like it it then it, it does it's not even honesty anymore. But what's the drive for that? What is the 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 root of dishonesty in terms of why can't people just say what they want? Because Who, who's in charge of this you know new phenomenon there, when you there, can't say there shit? There are so many little uh, interest groups now that have such a loud voice. Like you don't need the NAACP coming after you anymore. You need like the fucking. Uh, 125th Street fucking committee that thinks you're a fucking asshole. Oh, you don't need the whole... You don't uh, need the whole shebang anymore. It's anything you say now. There is a group. You could talk about fucking anything. And there will be a group that will write a letter and be offended. And everyone, especially in Hollywood, that has careers yep. and sponsorships. And the more corporations that get involved with stuff, the more they don't want to offend anybody. Now, how much money would you need to have in your pockets, right? Before mm. offending anybody didn't mean shit to you. Well, you felt comfortable enough to say, God, fuck yeah, God, I got yeah. this many millions. You know what? Mm. Blow we, me. We almost have enough. <laughs> it would it would be a lot. That's the beauty of satellite radio. We don't have to really worry about sponsors yet. You it's know, not it's, so much money though. It's it's, it's like boredom. I could. What am I gonna do? Yeah, we want to do. I'm gonna do. I, I kind of enjoyed <clears throat> this job. Let's get back on track. We got the Celine Dion. Take it from me. We got the kayak. <laughs> we got the kayak clip here. Let's uh, listen in on this. Oh, the kayak. Patrice has listen never heard to this. this genius. It is. You know, when when I was hearing a couple of days ago that these things are not reachable. It's too full of water. <clears throat> Maybe I'm too much like my. I'm not thinking with my head. I'm talking with my heart. Nobody can open any roofs. The yeah. helicopter's yeah. flying in. Take two people at a time. Take a kayak. Go into those walls. There's kids being raped at night. You hear gunshots. Big guns. What's that? Those people are praying. They're walking. They're like this. Hello? Do you see us? <laughs> we're dying. Celine, it's terrible. How do, I do, how do not you want to talk to you about money. <laughs> <laughs> Celine Segway, and and people are dying and cheese, but things are floating away. How come gum? What? Die? Why? They punch my teeth. <laughs> they hit me and punch me. I my gums are bleeding. <laughs> she sounded like Jamal. <laughs> I drive cab, but my teeth are killing me. <laughs> Is this dental malpractice? <laughs> Take the kayak. Get through those walls. What walls? The walls. Smash the, the wall walls with the kayak. Children are being raped. The, the big oh. guns and the <laughs> why? And this is the fucking the guy sitting there listening to that shit. Said, uh, Celine, the walls. The what, walls. What is it? Smash the kayak. 
Against what? Against the wall? That's what? To get the kayak. What, what are you going to do with a fucking kayak, <laughs> first of all? And then have the people do the kayak uh, row? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to be rowing with the <laughs> row, row. single oar. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to you have to kneel in the kayak. Yeah. So that you can do the kayak row. You can't sit in the kayak. They don't know how to sit in kayak. Kayak. Get the kayak. Why would they take a kayak? You can't carry a fucking, like... A butter knife in a kayak. Never mind a saw to get through a roof or a wall. Take the jackhammers and heavy equipment. Put them on a kayak. Why? If you're going to fantasize about what she wants to happen, how about you get a big boat in there and some fucking big helicopters? Take two people at a time. I think they would take in more than two at a time in the helicopter. That is the most uninformed jackass I've ever heard talk just, about it that. Just, it was just so... Emo her emotions were so new to the yeah, thing. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. The man. Titanic is sinking. You know, get people, get a log raft out there to help them. <laughs> you know what? And the ice pick and and four things. Ice is. You know, people are freezing in the waters. Why can't we drop some warm socks for them? <laughs> no, you don't understand. It's like they're in the North Atlantic. It's freezing. The ship went down. And so, I know we have to help them. Get some hand warmers, some gloves <laughs> for when they are waiting. Take gas boilers. They could do gas that. Gas boilers. Get some hair blowers <laughs> and some generators so they can use that to dry their wet heads so they don't catch cold in the icy North Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, she poor thing. Oh. You gotta feel bad when she. Oh, she meant well. Brand new to emotion. Get the ice chippers. Everyone on the front oh. of the boat could chip the iceberg. <laughs> what an underestimating idiot this oh. woman is. Take a kayak and sh the walls. But she wasn't saying what to do or anything. She was no. just naming just stuff, blurting shit out. Kayak walls, walls. <laughs> onions. What, bitch, is this a is this a recipe? You got the soup. Take the soup. <laughs> now mix in some parsley. <laughs> the people hungry look, they're walking. Hello. The word is kayak. It's like basil. <laughs> <laughs> kayak. Uh, uh, onion. <laughs> both. Helicopter. Or uh, walls. Wood. Uh, onions. Kayak. Wood. Uh, kayak. Onion. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, oh. Kayak wood on you. God. Celine, the password is kayak. Okay, I'd like to play. <laughs> um, small <laughs> boat. I uh, help people. Wall two. Alternating two. rowing. Helicopters. Rapids. <laughs> and black people. Huh? Hello? Black people? <laughs> Onions, <laughs> plasma TVs, touch them. <laughs> touch TV. <laughs> oh, what a dope. What, a, what an ass. All right, now we got to back up a little bit. We found the Martin Luther Coon oh, Day thing. Oh, God damn it. This, we're, oh, I this love all it. started with one stupid clip this morning. Yeah. Oh, we were sitting around going, ah, how are we going to start the show today? And this is how it starts. It amazes me every day we pull this off. The next couple of days, temperature is going to stay well above normal after a couple of days well below normal. Here's a look at your extended forecast for tomorrow. Sunshine, 60 degrees, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're going to see temperatures in the low 60s and mostly sunny skies. Look at that as we head toward Wednesday, oh, Thursday, and Friday. You're fired. Oh. And that guy's body temperature is about 120 <laughs> Oh, right my now. God. Oh. Just like, oh. Oh. oh, they gave him the Oscar too long speech <laughs> Music. <laughs> Here's what I think happened. If you if you, you uh, would play it again, you could hear this. And this is maybe I'm wrong, but, but I'm giving the guy the benefit of the doubt. Why would you first of all? Why the fuck would you go on the news and say that uh, on purpose? You wouldn't. Just wouldn't. You wouldn't. He's saying Martin Luther King Jr. Mm. The O in Junior and the K in King. Did you ever mix shit up? So he King. mixed King and Junior and got Coon. <laughs> Martin Luther Coon. He would have gotten Martin Luther Coon Kinger. Uh, say, <laughs> but say Coon and King. It's, oh. King starts out completely. Yeah, but different. if he had Junior, in, you ever get ahead of yourself in your head as you're speaking? So he 
as he says the K for King, he's already got the O for Junior, so it's Cooner. But he never. He corrected himself too soon, I think. It's a All wonderful right. day here on George Washington Lincoln. What? Yeah. <laughs> Washington Lincoln Day. <laughs> George Wooden Tooth. Wooden Tooth. I mean, George Washington. <laughs> Let's listen again here. The next couple of days, temperature is going to stay well above normal after a couple of days well below normal. Here's a look at your extended forecast for tomorrow. Sunshine, 60 degrees, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're going to see temperatures oh, in the low happened. 60s and mostly sunny skies. Look at that as we head toward the Wednesday, Thursday, sweat. and Friday. Do you Friday. think the sweat just immediately got, was on his forehead? I got a warm front uh, going across my forehead you, right now. You know all that mud makeup that they put on your face? Yeah. Do you think it just started dripping down like a landslide over his eyebrows? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, sweat. He's like, oh, oh I'm really fucked. Uh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked deeper than a Doppler two million. I'm, I'm Doppler fired. three million. Fuck, baby. I'm and this we'll have the rest of the forecast tomorrow. Honey, if you can hear me, get my resume to Kinko's, please immediately. Ah, uh, fire. What did he say to Ann and Coon? No, it was like Coon. What he could have said? Cool. It's a cool. Oh, I thought I was gonna mix cool and, and Martin, Martin Luther, Luther King. Cool, Junior. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe he was trying to fit the word cool in there. That somewhere. was a slip up. He but, couldn't get out of that. He couldn't talk out of that. But it could have been Freudian too. This motherfucker could be the most racist guy. This going, ah, oh, we you know Martin Luther Coon Junior Day. We gotta oh. sit through, huh, motherfuckers? I mean, let me. I gotta do my weather. Yeah, let's go. I gotta do my weather. I'll be right back though. Let's go to Ray in Virginia. Ray. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, you, you guys need to try to find the one where Shepard Smith makes a huge mistake. He's talking about J Lo, and it's, it, you know how he always does his little funny little uh, sayings. He does. He gets tongue tied. Yeah, so, I remember this one. Do we have that one, uh, Hawk? Yeah, we're the looking Shepherd for it right Smith now. Shepard Smith J Lo comment. <clears throat> what he say? The look, the look on his face is priceless. Then he, then he apologizes. You can just see it on his face, like he's saying, "Oh." I am he so says blowjob, basically. Yeah, not basically. Yeah. He says no, blowjob. He job. says blowjob instead of, uh, I don't even remember what he was trying to say at the time. Yeah, we'll try to find that one. Damn it, I love okay, that cool. one. Thanks, Find's buddy. Out. All right. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <clears throat> oh, that Celine Dion is just... Oh, is that she is just a raving look? She <clears throat> is so far from knowing what is going on in the real world. Like, she was a star... Pretty young on, yeah. She was and a long time. just now in Vegas, she's got like some palatial mansion. She goes to her own uh, theater for a show every night. What does she know about these people down there in New Orleans? Nothing, nothing. Thinking a kayak? What the fuck? That's a rich person recreational boat. Yeah, is a kayak. That's all she knows. I've been kayaking once. <laughs> take a, take all rich people. Why? Well, no po There's no polo ponies. No. Get the polo pony. Take a gazebo. <laughs> take three gazebos with them. I can love. <laughs> if everybody's maid and butler just chipped in <laughs> to pull these people out, they would be safe. Oh God! Get them bidets, Larry. <laughs> Get them some bidets. I heard in the stadium that they were in, there were no big days. <laughs> they are all going around with dirty hineys. <laughs> Larry, what can we do to help? I don't want to talk about money. <laughs> oh. Is she a rip? Let's go to Larry in Michigan. Larry. Hey, boy. Call room doing? service. <laughs> Have them send food down. What's up, Larry? Hey, do you remember in the 90s when uh, Jesse Jackson was appearing at a UAW rally and the president of the UAW had to introduce him, and he introduced him as Spear Chucker? Oh. What? I don't remember that. Yeah. Look, Who you can, would do you can that? Find, look, look where they click on the internet. You'll find it. Yeah, he introduced him. And you know what the guy's thinking? Talk about Freudian. He's thinking, now i got to get up there and introduce this motherfucking Spear Chucker. But wow. he called him. Yeah, I think he was... He well, if you guys got these clips, you guys send them into oh the my show. God, that's it doesn't genius. even sound like Jesse yeah, Jackson, never, where you can, yeah, you know, trip it up. Bear in Maryland. Bear, what's going on, fellas? What's up, hey, man? Hey, how about that big knucklehead grease man? What a little out of what a little out of day. Remember when he did the uh, Martin Luther King Day? If we uh, if we just shot four more, we'd have a whole week off. That's what a do. You never heard that one? Shit. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. This is innovative be... racism. I didn't even hear this, man. I didn't oh, hear yeah, this. he got fired for that one. Yeah, and then and then he comes back and gets fired for the uh, uh, the one that they dra drag them behind trucks comment. 
uh, well, yeah, when the after they played um, what did they play? Fuji's. I think it was yeah. a Fuji record. He was like checking out. No, what's her name? Uh, from the Fuji's. Uh, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill oh, plays the Lauren Hill the radio record. Radio guy, dude, that's yeah. I heard of that. The one. Grease yeah. Man. Yeah. Mm. What did he do? And he played it, and then he says. Uh, uh, of course, not liking the music, he goes, Well, no wonder they drag them behind trucks. Oh, <laughs> oh, fired. Yeah. Time for a bone dry. I'm out of work. Yeah. <laughs> bone dry. Yeah. What a doodle. <laughs> Time for the old unemployment line. Yeah. <laughs> Dragged. And that issue was so <laughs> sensitive. I mean, that was just. That guy was ravaged. Yeah, but, well, then he goes on TV to talk about what we did with the whole Sex for Sam. Yeah, and then after Sex for Sam, he's like, well, it was uh, inappropriate behavior for the radio. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dragon behind the front. <laughs> yeah, right. That is a, thanks for finding an expert. <laughs> that is something, that whole Did issue that, that right? happened with that guy the grease man right? was something the that should have been pulled from, like, Footage from the fifties, you know what I mean? Not even the fifties. Like a, that's, that, that's old thirties. <laughs> first, the first talkie films racism. <laughs> <laughs> like that is beyond. Where, where, where uh, uh, Thomas Edison? They're like, oh, you know, drag a nigga by the truck, and Edison's like, huh. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. No wonder they drag them behind trucks. <laughs> Watson, come quick, I need you. There's a colored person behind me. <laughs> <laughs> but there was the grease man, like right after it happened too. Just joking, and no wonder they drag them behind trucks. <laughs> oh, boot! He got the boot. Never recovered from that either. No. Oh. He's on an AM station somewhere in the DC. AM area. selling his own commercial time. Oh wait, what's this guy what knows. Uh, Brian in DC. Brian. Hey, uh, grease man's back on the radio in DC. Yeah. Is he? Uh, the Fox News affiliate. I think it's like WMET eleven sixty. Oof. Like I said, so he's wait. never recovered from that. <laughs> All right, wait, wait thanks, for sir. The next fuck up. <laughs> how quick? How quick we uh, we just forgive? Forgive and forget. That's that now goes to show you how little how how little talent there is out there. Holy ah. shit! Hold on a minute. Now well, we, we forgive and can forget the other way too, because Jesse with fucking Heimie Town, that should have just and he should have been gone. And here's the difference, though. It's like Jesse didn't even go. Whoops, oops, and doodle. He just no. goes. You know, Hymie Town, and it's just like... Hymie Town. And, he, and you try to give him a chance to go, hey, Jesse, mm -hmm, did you Well, no, say? yeah, I understand what you mean. Hymie Town. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Uh, you, you make a left at Jewville, <laughs> and then you, you get on the Kike Highway, and it take you over oh. the Heeb Bridge right into Hymie Town. I'm going out to fly my kike. What did you just say? Did you slip up? No, I'm going to fly a Jew. What? <laughs> yeah, no apologies, nothing. No, nothing. I'm just flying Jews. And there he is. Whenever there's something, he's still on there, respected, everything. What? Doesn't matter. Hymie Town. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Fucking Al Sharpton was involved with that, uh -huh. that uh, debacle uh, case. What's her name? Tawana. Tawana Brawley. With uh, Mason and Maddox, those wonderful lawyers that they were, <laughs> disbarred. Uh, and and nothing. He still, you know, gets up there. He's respected. <laughs> he's more respected now than he's ever been. Well, you know, we get to do a few things. Yeah, yeah you get, get a free pass. Yeah, they get yeah, the fuck up, on, too. Uh, we, don't get, we, don't, we don't get a, 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 a who reparations. Who, who, those goddamn gooks got reparations. Yeah. reparations. They get money, those damn yeah. Japs, for being in a camp for two days. We locked them up for a couple of weeks oh, a couple during of weeks. a war. Well, you locked us up for a couple of goddamn we eons. Never <laughs> knew. We can't go. We can't say, be racist from time to time. We never knew what the hell they were going to say, <laughs> those Japs. Now we got back up a little bit. We found the Shepherd Smith. Ah, okay. Shep. J-Lo's new song, Jenny from the Block, all about Lopez roots, about how she's still a neighborhood gal at heart. But folks from that street in New York, the Bronx section, sound more likely to give her a curb job than a blow job or blo block party. The New York Post was sorry about that slip up there. I have no idea how that happened. God it bless happen Shepard. Acknowledge it. your news and the G Block as Fox reports this Monday, November the fourth, two thousand and two. And still ahead, the most watched prime time in all of cable news. Yes. All right.
Wow, you can hear it in his voice oh, at the wow. end of that. He's like, oh, man, am I going to get through this? And, and, you and can he, hear it in his voice like, oh, damn. What a pro, though. He built his, his confidence back up like he like it, it's, it's, it motor stalled. And yeah. he just, just started back up. <laughs> oh, blowjob, boy, I didn't mean Blow that. Play, that a uh, uh, block party. I'm sorry. And then now, man, now let's get going now. Yeah. Let's do the crazy thing. Coming up next, O'Reilly. <laughs> we hit the G-block, baby. O'Reilly with some ass sex. Oh, fuck. What did I, oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. No, I didn't mean to die. I apologize for that. But he kept himself from getting fired because yeah. he acknowledged. It's like, whoa, that was sorry. That was just a slip up. He didn't pretend. Happen again. It, it, nope. No one could say it. No That's one, what you got to do. You know? Be human. <laughs> Acknowledge it. Be human. All right, let's go to Fled in uh, Pennsylvania. Fled. Hey, guys. Hey. I so wonder if you remember when Doug Williams was, uh, he was the first black quarterback to play in his Super Bowl. And some chick, the first question out of her mouth was, excuse me, how long have you been black? Wow. Are you kidding? <laughs> I swear to God. It, it's got to be somewhere out there to look for. Yeah, it. once again, if you guys have these clips, please send them in to Steve at foundrymusic.com. Thanks. All right, bunch of yeah. I think we have one more, and we'll take a, a break finally. Let's say hi to Chris from whackbag.com. Chris? Hey, love your show, guys. Thanks, Chris. Hey, man. hey, do you remember back in 94 when Bill Clinton was being interviewed on BET, and he said, and I quote, doing the fucking air quotes here in the car. And he says, and I quote. Such a fucking faggot. Ass. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know his ass? Anyway, he said, black people watch the same TV news at night that regular people watch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what white people think. Oh, wow. Well, you know, they're almost like real people. They're almost regular. Really? You know who Nirvana is? You're really regular. <laughs> <laughs> that is hysterical. You was irregular before. <laughs> there are times, though, you don't know what to say. Like, like uh, there'll be uh, maybe a kid with Down syndrome or something, and you'll see him do something that amazes you that they're actually capable of doing that. And you'll say, wow, he was doing it like a normal person or a regular person. And, and that is so un-PC, but... But it's the truth. That's what it is. Right. Uh, you say normal person, and, and then people argue, well, what is normal? Right. You know, you're judging what's normal. No. I know that ain't normal. I, that ain't the norm. I thought, I, I thought. see, I thought every time you said something, every time a person says something that's, that's politically incorrect, like you go, oh, wow, I thought that, that was something normal. I thought that only you got offended, and the person you was talking about didn't give a shit. Right. But I, I thought midgets was something that regular tall people was getting angry at midgets don't like the word midget no they hate it i thought midgets hey you little midget and he's like hey that's what i am baby but he's like i'm a little person a little person motherfucker you a midget little person <laughs> what you're not a you're not a, a little person that's putting that puts too much pressure on me yep. to be considerate of your fucking thing that is Evidently a problem. You know what I'm saying? It's like you are a goddamn midget, motherfucker. Don't what put me in a so bad wrong spot. about that, too? It's a what, great word. What's wrong with midget? <laughs> what is wrong with that word? I don't understand. It was never used as a derogatory term towards midgets, right. towards little people. It was just never like, you fucking midget. You know, hey, don't use the M word. <laughs> I'm gonna be pit. You know, it's just what they were. And then all of a sudden, they just decided, no, midget is a bad word now. We want to be called little people. What do you think they was calling on a set of odds on the Wizard of Oz? They get the fucking midget. Get over there. <laughs> Here's the hey, the midgets on the set. Midgets on the set. We're doing the uh, yellow brick road scene. Midgets to the set, please. <laughs> and you know they weren't like motherfuckers calling us midgets again. <laughs> I can't believe we're little people. Hey. Do Director, up down here. We're, we're fucking little people, asshole. You know, we're not going to uh, answer to midget anymore. All right, little people to the set. Thank you. That's better, motherfucker. Uh, it doesn't my... happen like that. Is this midget cursing me the fuck out? You yeah. to get out of my face with your thumb arms before I toss you through a window. And you know, you know back then, they were a dime a dozen, too. 
Like they've weeded them out with friggin' testing. With and genetics shit. and shit. Genetic. <laughs> like they, there's a fucking doctor. The second you shoot a load inside your woman, he could be in bedside going, uh, it's gonna be a midget. <laughs> Kill it. Uh, I saw the uh, test that we did. I could see by the residue left on your mattress. Uh, it's a fucking midget. You want, I'll bring the equipment in right now. We got a vacuum. We'll suck that fucker right out. You won't have to worry about having to be embarrassed for the rest of your life. That was but a, back then. That was a dwarfy load. Back then. <laughs> <laughs> that back one then, load was dwarfing. God back damn. Then one of those motherfuckers mouth off about little people, they swing the door to MGM open. Any midgets want a job? <laughs> Any midgets? Hey, hey, I'm, I'm there. Follow the yellow back road. And then a bunch of midgets come running over the hill like gremlins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 we what? only need ten. <laughs> hey, hold up. One midget comes and then looks back and does the wave and it's 10,000 midgets. <laughs> what it was like back in the fucking 30s. Midgets galore. <laughs> they the ones who wrote that song, Hi-Ho. They came in. Hi-Ho, Hi-Ho. Hi it's off to work we go. How many you need? And we got 50. Yet. We only need ten fucking midgets. <laughs> How we gonna control all these midgets? Don't worry, the king of the midgets. Attention. <laughs> Go like uh, like Malcolm X, like Denzel from Malcolm X. He just held his hand up and did the point, and yes. all the midgets left. <laughs> <laughs> Brought the midgets down to the MGM theater. Uh, there's some midgets out there that need work. Uh, listen, take these motherfuckers and go. And then the women in the competent goes, no midget should have this much power. <laughs> you right, nigga. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Goddamn midgets. Nowadays, though, you know, you got to. Little people, man. Only a few of them. You don't see the you don't see them just trucking down the street as as many as we used to. Wow! In the twenties, it was the twenties. Oh, the whole world was half midget. Little midget hands doing the Charleston. Hey, baby, you want to shake a leg at the Cotton Club tonight? Now you're hard pressed to find one. I could go a month. Hard pressed. It's hard pressed to find a midget. Dude, we you go out there. I dare you. A fucking month will go by. Two months. Yeah. Six months. Hard you won't see one fucking midget. midget. Hard, Patrice, hard You have no idea. We have a bit called the midget sighting of the day, and, and yeah. we can't do it every day because they're hard to find. It's just hard, it ain't like the old days. Uh, as if people are looking. They're you looking. Know, you're hard pressed to find them. Listen, we're doing a remake of Wizard of Oz. We're doing Wizard of Oz too. We need midgets. Damn. See, so we have. We interrupt this program. They got a CGI midgets. Yeah. The Ozone Midget Sighting of the Day. See, we have an intro and an outro for the bit, but we can't find can't midgets. Find and midgets. the only reason it is a bit in the first place is because a midget sighting is something you need. It's very rare. It's rare. Yeah. And, and then so the we person know will call about it. and describe <laughs> what he's seeing. <laughs> you think we're kidding? Listen again. We interrupt this program to bring you the Ozone Midget Sighting of the Day. And then we got this. Dude, I'm in the supermarket right now, and I see a midget, and he's pushing the fucking shopping cart. I swear to God, it looks like he's on that playground thing where you swing from one bar to another. He's reaching up and pushing a fucking shopping cart. It's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. Well, we got, we got one sort of, Bob, Bob in Baltimore. Bob? Hey, guys. Hey, hey Bob. What's up, I Bob? I relate what happened to me with one of them little fuckers one day. Yeah. Me and some friends went into a bar, and uh, I'm 6'4". And there was about three or four of them in there. We started striking up a conversation with them, just talking. And I said something to the effect of, you know, it must be really tough being a midget in this society. <laughs> well, the guy took such an offense to it, the little fucker come over and punched up right in my nut. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a great uh, height for really nailing you right in the balls. And, I mean, it's, you know, and I thought, what the fuck did I say? Yeah, how do you defend against We're that? We're not midgets. <laughs> We're little people. That's exactly what he said. He said, we're not midgets, we're not munchkins, and we're not dwarfs. 